Victim of an attempted carjacking in Prince George's County speaking exclusively with Fox 5 tonight. The incident happened in April in a parking garage at MGM National Harbor. As Fox 5's Aisha Khan reports, the man says he wants to share his story as a reminder to other people to be more vigilant and aware of their surroundings. So I got out of the car and I was like, okay, 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 take what you want. Rabar Barway of Great Falls, Virginia says it's taking a lot of courage for him to finally be able to share the nightmarish ordeal he experienced on April 18th inside of a garage at MGM National Harbor. I've never firsthand at this age experienced anything. Um, quite so traumatic. Barwa says he parks in this spot all the time whenever he visits a casino. And I was getting out. All of a sudden, I just noticed a gray car pull up right in front of my car. He's begging me, where's the keys, where's the keys, where's the keys, where's the keys? Barway says the suspect started searching through his pockets, found his cash, car key, and his cell phone. And in the middle of all that happening, Barway noticed the suspect had a gun. We kind of wrestled. I did feel his wrists, which are significantly smaller than mine, kind of bend and bend forward. And the shot came from inside the car, uh, grazed my eyebrow slightly, about an inch, and through the windshield. The 32-year-old, who is a father of a five-year-old boy, cannot believe that the bullet, which left this hole in his BMW's windshield, didn't actually hit him. At that point, I mean, I was ready to give up a car for my life. Barraway says the gun going off startled the suspect, causing him to quickly get out of Barraway's car and into a getaway car. What were you going to do with the car? I think it was just desperation, and it was pretty much just eyeing someone who they thought that was going to be easy. Barraway says there is surveillance video of the incident. Prince George's County Police have not confirmed that information with us. Meanwhile, we have made several attempts with MGM asking for a statement regarding the incident, but no response so far. I don't want this to happen to anyone else. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Aisha Khan, Fox 5, D.C.